Okay, so we're going to talk about the different layers of Earth and um, some of the differences between them and the similarities between them, some of their functions and their properties. First of all, let's talk about the handout that you put into your notebook, Interior Earth Introduction. First of all, it says the thickness of each layer of Earth. Um, the crust is the thinnest, okay? The mantle is the thickest. Outer core and inner core, um, there is about a thousand kilometer difference between the thickness of both of those. Okay, but important for you to remember that crust is the thinnest layer, mantle is the thickest layer. Not important for you to remember the exact numbers. Um, information about the crust. There's two different types of crust that you really need to understand the differences between them. Um, there's oceanic crust and there's continental crust. Continental crust would be um, any crust that lies underneath dry land. Um, the oceanic crust is going to be crust that is underneath the ocean's floor. Oceanic crust contains iron, and uh, these iron atoms react with the Earth's magnetic field. Basalt makes up most of the ocean's or oceanic crust. Salt is a type of rock. So if you can remember that the ocean has salt water, then maybe that will help you remember that it is also composed of, or its composition is mostly basalt. Salt water, basalt for oceanic crust. Granite makes up most of the continental crust. Granite is a light colored rock, um, and most, uh, where you, wherever you go and, and kind of dig into the continental crust, most of the time you're going to find granite. The crust is made up of solid rock that includes dry land and ocean floor. The crust is thickest under high mountains and thinnest under the ocean floor. So the difference between continental crust and oceanic crust is that continental crust is thicker. Older oceanic crust is more dense than younger oceanic crust because it has been has had time to cool and cooler substances have, tend to have more density than warmer ones that's why warmer liquids or warmer gas rises because it's less dense oceanic crust is more dense than continental crust um, the lithosphere which is part of the up, part of the crust and the upper mantle kind of combined and this is where tectonic plates are. And that's what Alfred Wegener did not know about. He did not understand or even know about tectonic plates. And that was, instead of th them thinking that continents were deep into um, solid rock, they're actually on top of the mantle and they kind of ride along these convection currents moving the tectonic plates, which the kind of, um, continents are floating on, which we described in that picture earlier with the tank. You have your convection currents, your tectonic plates, and then on top of that are your continents. The next layer as we go down further into Earth um, will be the mantle. The mantle is made up of very hot rock, but it is still solid um, substance. The uppermost part of the mantle is combined with the lower part of the crust, which makes up the lithosphere. The lithosphere is where the tectonic plates rest and are in constant slow movement or motion. The asthenosphere is just below the lithosphere, and this is a bendable solid, almost like plastic, like your plastic jug, milk jugs, you can bend them. The lower mantle is still solid, but it is very weak. And the convection currents in the mantle generate the movement of the tectonic plates. Just like we focused here on this tank picture again, here we have down here, this is the mantle area with magma. And then above it, this is going to be your lithosphere with your tectonic plates. And then you have your crust up here. Okay. So 
So those convection currents in the mantle generate that movement of those tectonic plates. The next two layers are the core. And first, we're going to, as we're traveling down into the Earth's layers, we'll first come to the outer core. The outer core is made up of hot liquid material. This is the only liquid layer of Earth. It's made up of this molten metal, which is molten meaning melted. Okay, this molten metal that surrounds the inner core. The outer core is made up of iron and nickel. The outer core has these convection currents, but these ones don't move the tectonic plates. They generate Earth's magnetic field. The next layer that we come to is called the inner core. The inner core is made up of hot solid material. It still is composed of the metals, iron and nickel, and because it's kind of small in the, um, the spectrum of the layers, it's not a large um, area. So it's a kind of a smaller area, um, not small to us, but in the, in the spectrum of Earth. And it has all this hot metal iron in it, kind of like the nucleus of the atom. The nucleus is very small, but contains a lot of mass. Okay, so that makes it very dense. So the inner core is a dense ball of solid metal. And the inner core has the greatest pressure under Earth's surface. That's why it makes it very hard to travel there too, because as you go deeper down into the Earth's surface, the pressure becomes increasingly strong. So let's talk about, go back, go back and talk about the two types of crust, as you will have a quiz on this on Monday. Two types of crust. So draw this thinking map into your, um, into your notebooks. And let's first talk about the things that oceanic crust and continental crust have in common. Obviously, they both are a part of the layer called the crust. They both are made up of um, solid rock. And they both fall into that range of 5 to 70 kilometers thick. Okay. So what does the continental crust have? that's different than oceanic crust. Continental crust is um, on the marker doesn't want to work. Um, it is on dry land. Continental crust is less dense than oceanic crust. It's older than oceanic crust. It's composed, um, has a granite composition. So it's made up of mostly granite. What else? Um, and it's also thicker than oceanic crust. So when we go over here and we talk about oceanic crust, we're just going to kind of compare and contrast the, the two things. So, for example, What's, um, how is continental crust different? Let's take a look at these and kind of bridge what's the opposite of that. So this is going to be under the ocean floor. And it is, oceanic crust is more dense than continental crust. It's younger because new oceanic crust is forming all the time due to seafloor spreading. It's composed of basalt. Remember, we remember that term, that little word in there, salt, salt water, basalt. So it has a basalt composition. 
And lastly, oceanic crust is thinner than continental crust.